don't listen to a whole bunch of music, man. I want to really connect to the person that's on the radio. And it's, I think it's like that in every industry. I think your industry is the same way. Uh, if a client comes in and they just feel like you're all business, right? Um, at least for a guy like me, I want to really feel like you care. You care about my case. Uh, you care about my family. You care about maybe the injuries that I have. And if you're talking to me in cliches and clips, I'm probably going somewhere else. Yeah. Well, when it comes to clients, I most of the time I'm not really explaining the insurance process and the car accident process. Most of the time I'm just getting to know them mm -hmm. and their story, their history, where they work. And I, the last two clients I've spoken with, I actually did them together because they were both in a car accident together. And we just spent 30 minutes giving them financial advice and just telling them like, hey guys, y'all are young, you have this opportunity, where are you working currently? You should probably do this if it's something more in line with mm -hmm. your career and your ambitions. And advising them kind of, because I've, I've been through that. I, I, I spent so many years trying to figure out what it is, what is it that I want to do for the rest of my life? Mm -hmm. And going through that, I, I wanted to impart that sort of wisdom in my 30s to someone in their 20s. Mm -hmm. But that's all we did. And then at the very end of it, I was like, oh, by the way, do you, do you want me to handle your case? <laughs> right. They're like, for sure. Of course. You know? like, right. Well, can, should we talk about the injury? Pro They're like, no, 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 dude. I, I trust you. Just, yeah. just handle it. And so that, that communication, I think you, you can see it in long form um, on, on social media, on radio, on podcasting. Yep. Um, but I've kind of started speaking in sound bites myself. And see what clients are, are in no, your podcast? On, <clears throat> on video. I've gotten so good at uh -huh. recording videos that are exactly 60 seconds long. Well, that's um, – it's not a bad format for video. Uh, it really isn't. I mean – I'm finding that in video and podcasting also um, that you really need to get to sort of the meat of your subject quickly. People don't have a lot of time uh, to hear BS. So even though I'm talking about more long form stuff when it comes to radio, you can't just talk for the sake of talking, right? You have to immediately capture their attention, especially with this generation, right? I've got a nine-year-old stepdaughter and she's watching one minute YouTube videos and she gets through 10 seconds and scrolls to the next one. Oh yeah. The attention span <laughs> used to be, you got to get their attention in three seconds. Now yeah. you have to get people's attention in one and a half seconds. Yeah. But for, especially for podcasting and YouTube and long form uh -huh. content, what I realized is getting in the habit of creating cliffhangers mm -hmm. where you can almost envision where the video is going to take place so that you can get people to your podcast or get people to your YouTube channel is a great way. Is, it's a great strategy mm -hmm. for, for growth on social. So give me an example of that. The number one thing that you must absolutely do when podcasting and you can never mess this up is having a good connection with your co-host. And so the first seven, eight seconds of that is uh -huh. going to be the Instagram story that yep. you're going to see. And it's like anyone that's interested in podcasting, YouTubing, long -term, long form video is going to see this content and they're gonna swipe up and say, yep. hey, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe so you can see it. But there's also a strategy of telling a little bit of the story first before you go to that final like cliffhanger to get people to jump. And so there's a seven to 15 second strategy. And then there's like the 45 to 60 second strategy to get them to the long form video. So for example, when I'm, when I'm trying to educate lawyers on how to build their businesses and it's like, if you ever ask me how many cases am I bringing in per month? I know that you're an amateur. And the reason for that is because professionals don't focus on bringing in more business professionals focus on optimizing the business that they already have. Beautiful. And I've been there before. So I know what it's like to just be focused on bringing in the business, but your maturity level in business changes as you understand the optimization is where the gold nuggets are. And most people are not experts in optimization. Most people are experts in marketing or in litigation or in, in, in talent acquisition or in HR, but none of them look at the optimization of the entire organization. So if you want to grow your law firm and you want to take your business to the next level, you absolutely must focus on optimization. And so that clip was the 45 to 60 second clip. And then the optimization was the piece that's not included in the actual advertisement because you have to swipe up to get to yep. YouTube. And this is something that I encourage a lot of content creators to do when they have a channel that's absolutely exploding and they're trying to get more people to a new channel. So on Instagram, we do really, really well. 
but we don't have the same following on YouTube yet. On TikTok, it's our second fastest growing channel. It's not as good as our Facebook in terms of the, the quality of the engagement. And so getting in the habit of understanding the psychology of social media and where your posts are going to show up to get someone to another channel to mm -hmm. kind of build out that infrastructure, I feel has a correlation with radio oh, personalities. Yeah. So what you're describing, what we've called in radio for the longest time is the 80-20 rule. So, and it's also called teasing. So if there's something coming up, what I'll do is I will tell my audience 80% of the story knowing that they're going to stick around for the other 20%. I see, it's yeah. the exact same thing you're doing. 